Sheikh Jassim's view on striking deal after Glazer's family agreement. Sheikh Jassim remains optimistic on striking a full takeover deal at Manchester United, despite the Glazer family coming to an agreement over their shares. The Glazers have been in charge at Old Trafford since 2005 and teased that a full takeover was their plan when they invited offers to buy the club in November. Sheikh Jassim and Sir Jim Ratcliffe are thought to be the foreigners for a full takeover, but with the transfer window quickly approaching, fans are keen to see the process happen quickly. However, ESPN reported on Monday that a source familiar with the situation had told them that a family agreement could see United's co-chairman and Glazer brothers Joel and Avram stay in charge at United with a minority of shares instead sold to attract the required investment. They report that fellow directors Kevin, Brian and Edward Glazer and Darcy Glazer Cassiewicz are going to sell their shares in the club but the Glazer brothers would remain the majority shareholders. United already have investors ready to buy minority shares with the independent stating that U.S. private equity giants Carlyle Group Inc. are ready to make a major investment. The U.S. hedge fund Elliott Management are also said to be amongst the favorites to buy a minority shares. Investment firms Sixth Street and Aries are reportedly also showing interest in the developments at Old Trafford. However, The Guardian have reported that Qatari billionaire Sheikh Jassim remains confident that he can buy the majority shares to give him control at Old Trafford this summer. The Rain Group, the New York bank overseeing the process, has set an April 28 deadline for third and final bids to complete a full takeover of United or buy a minority stake in the club. Banker Sheikh Jassim has long been a United supporter and is prepared to spend big in order to end the 18-year tenure of the Glazers. It is believed that his off- However, it was reported on Monday that Glazer Brothers Joel and Avram were confident of securing enough outside investment that could see them in control at Old Trafford for the next 10 years. According to ESPN, the brother believed there is potential for organic growth through broadcast and streaming opportunities that would make United worth over £10 billion in years to come. The Glazers are attempted to find a wealthy investor to give United manager Eric Ten Hag a large summer transfer budget while redeveloping Old Trafford and the club's Carrington training ground. Parties after complete control at Manchester United have always held reservations over whether the Glazers actually intend to sell the majority of their shares. In other news, Jadon Sancho told how he can turn his Manchester United career around. Former Manchester United striker Dimitar Berbatov says Jadon Sancho has failed to fulfill his potential since joining the Old Trafford outfit from Borussia Dortmund almost two years ago. After no shortage of speculation, the England international joined United in July 2021, seemingly bringing an end to the club's long-term pursuit of a right-sided winger. However, he has struggled to live up to expectations in United colours so far, scoring just 10 goals and grabbing 5 assists in 68 appearances. After struggling for consistency under former bosses Ole Gunnar Solskjaer and Ralph Rangnick, many hoped that Eric Ten Hag would find a way to unlock Sancho's potential. However, he struggled to deliver the goods in the first half of the season, meaning he, on the recommendation of Ten Hag, went to the Netherlands during the World Cup break to work on an individual training program. He was reintroduced to the United squad in February and has offered glimpses of his capabilities, even though he has struggled for any sort of consistency. And Berbatov believes Sancho has got to turn the heat up on his performance levels. What he needs to do is play the way he used to play at Borussia Dortmund. Berbatov told Bedford, I spent five seasons in Germany, and I know that some of the games in the Bundesliga can be freer, easier, and the pace of the games are slower. Jadon has to show improvement, and in my opinion, he's not fulfilled his promise by going to that next level in his performances as his career has progressed. He needs to play to the best of his ability when he gets the opportunity to play and it's clear that he's trying, but sometimes circumstances can be difficult and they can be against you. Nevertheless, Jadon is a talent and he's got the necessary tools to be a success at Manchester United and to play better than he is now. I'm looking forward to seeing him finish the season strong and helping the team with his dribbling and his pace. I obviously want him to stay and see how he begins next season because he needs to show everybody how good he can be. If you enjoyed the video make sure to smash the like button and make sure to subscribe to Man United Hub to get all the latest updates.